Hey, once again, you've got to tune in to O2UP and the award-winning secondary emission. And uh, tonight, in the house, OGP. How's it going, guys? Good, good. What's up? <laughs> you know, these guys have been wanting to do the show for uh, quite a while. And uh, patience and persistence pays off. And, uh, exactly. Uh, and a press pack. <laughs> and a press packet, which I do have in my uh, little black backpack. But uh, actually, we're going to go around and introduce the guys in the band. Tell them what you do. Tell them what you play. I'm Cut Devious. I'm the turntablist. I guess the headphones give it away. <laughs> uh, I'm Jeff. I play guitar. I'm Mason. I play drums. And I'm Weasel. <laughs> I'm vocalist. My name is Stone. I do vocals. <laughs> My name is Paul, and I play bass. Hey, the infamous <laughs> bass player. Uh, at that, you guys don't have your own video yet. No, yeah. But uh, yeah. what do you guys want to see? Seven Dust is Waffle. Seven Dust Waffle, definitely, man. That's off the hook. Regarding practice, do you guys actually have a practice space? Is it someone's apartment, a basement? Actually, yeah, parents house. Yeah, his parents, parents house. house. Yeah, we're in the basement. We have to give his parents credit. They let us make of noise. Winners. Let's say hi to his parents. Hi, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Fan. <laughs> uh, no, no. Thanks your for letting us use your house. used to it after all these years. Uh, I know we go back in the day, and I got to throw out the uh, old name Trailer Park. Uh, <laughs> back in the day, these guys, uh, they were rocking, and they were coming out to uh, opening the Big O, and that was a long time ago. I mean, we're talking almost six years ago, so uh, you guys school, definitely man. have some uh, practice, but... Uh, so in addition to doing the band thing, you guys also working, you're going to college, what are you guys doing? Uh, I work full time on top of uh, playing with the band, which is a part time job. It feels like uh, I feel vending machines basically. A couple <laughs> of us work, the rest we're all... Don't do nothing. A couple of us work, you know, that's it. Like, like, like two of us. <laughs> like I'm one third of the band, one third of the band, we're right? trying to find proper career choices. <laughs> yeah. It's just trying to stay again. at the jobs without getting fired. So do you guys feel that you guys are answering a particular need that's not being met in the Omaha music scene? Uh, you guys definitely combine genres and styles of music and uh, trip hop, metal, <laughs> however you want to throw out the names there, Limp Bizkit, the Deftones, Beastie Boys, Corn, a little bit of everything. We're totally, uh, yeah, we, we have that same pattern but we follow a different course. The turntables are used more of an instrument as just hey, breaking in samples. And it totally takes it a whole different way. Gotcha. So now break that down for me. When you guys, no, I'm serious. When you guys are writing songs, putting something together, how do you do that? What's the stages of progression for your band? Well, the best songs include like collaborating. Everybody. You got to share the mic, Weasel. <laughs> the best songs are like collaborations with everybody, really. But mostly it comes from these two guys right here. And yeah. then uh, our rhythm we section. Follow, we, yeah, we follow off them. We, they started off, and then uh, our guitarist usually hits the riff, and then uh, they find spots for me to come in, and from those spots, I develop uh, the notes that I want to have off my turntable. How long have you actually been mixing or playing the turntable? I mean, actually bringing it out that the turntable is now it's an instrument. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, from the beginning, I've been actually scratching for about nine months i've been djing for a little longer than that but actually scratching and my skills had developed because of these guys you know exactly. without them i would have never escalated to the level that i'm at today and uh if you guys catch us at the show you'll see what i'm talking about it's a whole new ball game you know yeah this is what we want to do you know this is we're all about the music and we want you know we want to be hard and we want the fans to have a good time. Exactly, and that Definitely. gets paid for playing music. <laughs> getting, By the way, everybody paid, getting paid is a good, yeah, good deal. Say, you can't live just on like music alone, you know? We yeah. want everybody to come that sees us yeah. to have a little bit of flavor from everything, from hip hop, from jungle, from hard, heavy guitar riffs, from the, the pounding cymbals and the drum. We want it all incorporated. And then that's what we try to bring to the table. And, and we succeed at it, we really do, through different uh, samples and starts and stops. It's a continuous process with us. When we hit stage, we don't stop. No pauses. Now I'm going to throw out three band names, and you tell me what you think. Pantera, 311, Corn. Instrumental for many bands out there today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who do you guys primarily draw from? Uh, we've all followed Corn for yeah, yeah. a really long time. Yeah. <laughs> Not more so now, but yeah. But well, yeah. 
lately it's different bands than that. I mean, yeah. Corn, Corn and Deftones, Head PE, Incubus. All really big influences on all of us. Faith no more. Hey, Nothing faith, faith no more. Space, Nothing man. faith. Well, ultra. Ultra. <laughs> of course, dude. Ultra. And Eminem. And Eminem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got to interrupt here one second. Who is Missy? <laughs> <laughs> Missy, where are you? We're missing you, Missy. I used to have a girlfriend named Missy when I was like 17, and she was hot. So, well, where's Missy? She's in the hall. She's I don't know. Hall, dude. She's in the hall. Actually. She comes to all the bands. Thank her very much. Her, Angie, Josie's going to be coming out. Redbone. Redbone. Becky, Thank my you wife. All. Hold on, hold on. Becky, my wife. She's yeah, Redbone, actually hanging like out them. in the bar right oh, now. Yeah. My whole boy, Steve, and the crew, man, a bunch of people. I just kind of want to give a shout out to them since everybody's giving a shout out to everybody. Hey, no, a shout out love to everybody. Them all. Everybody that comes oh, out to yeah. our show, a shout out to like everybody we love. Those guys over there, Micah and Dave from Downshift, another band that oh, you guys need to look band, up, yeah. dude. Let's Downshift do straight up. Hey, Micah, say hi to the camera. That's that's their lead singer and their uh, turntable. And turntables, man. Too. Those guys are awesome. down to earth, man, pretty straight. Video show. For never had given yeah. us video. Um, you guys thinking about yeah. doing video, something in the works, maybe? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, we, uh, we found a place where we were taking bio pictures, actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the address. <laughs> Better not say anything. It's like I don't know if it's uh, somewhere up in the industrial area. Yeah. We just like I don't know if it's completely. Ghetto, uh, found a couple cool places. Might not be completely legal yet, but yeah. <laughs> it'd definitely be a cool place to make a yeah, video. Yeah. Definitely. That's it, something. Have yeah. like a Rage Against the Machine thing going on, you know? Cops are yeah. calling on us for playing in the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, OGP, the collective unit, the band that uh, makes it all happen, and. Uh, Looking forward to a, a record coming to your local music store sometime in the near future, and hopefully pick one up. a video. Yep. And you know, if you want to shoot there, I won't tell. Okay. <laughs> and we sure, want to thank yeah. Secondary Mission for coming oh, out exactly, and looking man. this up for us. Definitely giving us a chance. You know, it'll kind of give show us our true colors and stuff of who we are. You know, much love. Music, you know? I think we scared them. I think we scared them originally. I think like a lot of times, a lot of times in Omaha, a lot of places don't really give chances to a lot of bands out there that have like mucho talent. You know, a lot of talent out there. There's a lot of bands out there that have a lot of yeah, talent. There's a lot of there's a lot of bands in Omaha that are talented and they're hard. Five hundred seventeen. Sometimes you know people don't want to hear that, but you know, I I gotta say, man, you know, forever Jur 13 downship, tripping the fall. Retrobate. I don't know reprobate. Yeah, there's idolatry. The list goes on and on, and exactly. it's always a good show. Creatures of Habit, man. Creatures of Habit, Creatures of Habit. Don't forget about those oh, guys. Those guys rock. <laughs> man, that drummer wails, doesn't he? I'm yeah. telling you. Always has a broken cymbal. Goes to show you <laughs> something. I mean, you know, we're always guys, man. And I mean, every time we get placed somewhere, we always get placed with, with a lot of... Uh, Hip hop bands, which you know we're not, but I mean they figured just because it's like, which is cool too, you know. But, but they got a turntable list and automatically yeah, stereotype, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I mean, dude, we love the heavy music, man. We're based upon the heavy music. We've been listening to heavy music since like day began, since we were all in high school, and that's basically what we what we roll with and what we like, man. Just the heavy hardcore hitting sound, just like. Hey. Crazy, dude. <laughs> well, you heard it from a weasel. The guys in OGP <laughs> sharing the love amongst the group with their friends uh, tonight on the bill at the ranch bowl reprobate we have pain face for never great show and these guys so uh, if you missed it you'll be able to catch them here in the near future i'm sure look at the flyers at the ranch bowl come up talk to these guys they're all approachable and uh until we see you back here next time cuckoo guys can we do it cuckoo and good night <laughs>